So we're, we're set up for Mariposas. Um, it is a game about um, the uh, monarch butterfly's um, life and migration patterns. Um, it was actually based off of a book about that, and she wanted to turn that into a game, and she did. Um, it's very kind of complicated. Um, I, I kind of figured it out. She's going to be playing it for the first time, so I'll actually be teaching her. Um, I'll post the entire video as a separate video that you can watch to watch the full gameplay, but I will chop up the one for our Gulps and Games video so that it doesn't run super long. Um, so first off, you have action cards, and everybody gets two of those. You get to play one of those per each round. Um, they have different things on them. If it has three butterflies with three different spaces and arrows, like this one does, it means I get to move three three times, and I can either do one butterfly three times or three different butterflies one time. But I get to move them each one space. Um, in order to collect the flowers, you do need the flowers for hatching. It tells you in here about how, um, actually shows right here. If you have two of the same, you can hatch a, a second generation butterfly. Three of the same is a three generation and so forth on the map. It also t shows you that if you have any three, so if I have any three different flowers that I can pick up, I can, um, I can birth or uh, generate or whatever you wanna call it, a hatch, a new butterfly with any three non-matching flowers. You can only pick up a flower if you land on the space. There are these little ones, they're called milkweed spaces. It's, it's a leaf with a little caterpillar on them. If you land anywhere on any of the spaces that that touches, you can automatically hatch a, um, mm -hmm. a butterfly. Okay. And then there's um, seasons. So um, spring, uh, Spring is um, the one that we're starting in, so we have to, in order to get the points at the end of the season, we have to uh, either land to the side of Houston or above Atlanta. If we have a butterfly on both of those, we get both those point sets. And before we forget, we are not sponsored by the game, by the drinks, by nothing but our own financials. Yes. <laughs> um, I do want to be um, clear uh, the. The mead company did give us a small discount when we ordered the mead. Um, that was even before I told them that we did a YouTube channel. I was just telling them that it looks really interesting, but you know, the shipping to get to Michigan is just as much as one four pack of mead. So I'm kind of iffy about it. And so out of the generosity, they, they gave us a discount. And then I yes. told them that we we're definitely using it in our video. Yes. Um, but they don't, that's not an official sponsorship. No. But I do need to, I want to make it clear so if someone finds out they don't think that, you know, we're not reporting a sponsorship or something. And you must be 21 to drink in America. And, and please drink, drink responsibly. responsibly. Uh, so the gameplay starts out, you start in um, Michoacan. I don't know how to say Spanish words. I don't know. I, it kind of looks like Michigan. Yeah, it looks, like a, it looks like a Spanish version of Michigan. Mm -hmm. But this is in Mexico. Mm. Um so uh, this area you start in Mexico, move up in the United States. Uh, so the fir first, actually I can put it, first round of play, you play one card, one of your action cards. So I will play this one. I get to move two butterflies, one one time and one three times. So um, I'm gonna move uh, my first butterfly. Uh, one. Why am I pink and not yellow? It's y pink and orange. Oh, that's orange. It's oh, like it's a light orange. Pink. Okay, I'll so, let you be orange. So I'm going to move one space up. I'm going to collect a, um, it's a pink flower. I don't know what kind of flowers these are, but it's the, the pink one. Um, so I got one flower. Now that's because it was one move and I landed on. Now I get to move three and I'm going to go one, two, three, and I get to uh, pull out a purple flower. I also landed by milkweed, which means I get to hatch. Uh, hmm. um, pause real quick. Um, I need to double check. Uh, Did we ever explain why we're doing this as ladies night? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so I, I was wrong. If you land next to the milkweed, you have to have the um, corresponding 
um, butter uh, flower pieces. So I only have two when they're not matching. So I don't get to, to hatch on this turn. That was my third one. Um, so that was the end of my turn. So you don't discard these in during each individual season because there are bonus cards that allow you to reuse any of those moves. So you put them to the side for right now and then you discard at the end of the season. Um, so now I draw uh, one more card to re put this up to three. And what is this nice thing over here? That's for our scores. Do I do something with it right now? Not until the end of the season. Okay. So now it becomes Princess's turn and she gets to do the... I do this? Nope. We haven't gotten there yet. Oh. If you land on any one of these, um, they're called way stations. They're the cities. That's right. We do if, you, if you land on a city, you get to flip over the piece. If the piece is a flower. I do have to say this board feels awesome. Oh, yeah. This material is amazing. <laughs> these little is. pieces are wood that they painted. Yes. And, um, I mean, and the cards are very high quality. Oh, yeah, and these little cards. Yeah, the little tokens, very high quality, everything. Yes. Um, so if you land on a way station, you get to roll um, roll the die, and it tells you it tells you which flower that you get to um, collect. And um, if it lands on this one that's just a white flower, that one is a um, any flower of your choice to pick up. So that's if you land on the way stations. So go ahead and go. All right, so I have three butterflies with arrows. Yep, so you get to move three times one space. Three times one space. Yep. one, and then pick up a flower, one, pick up a flower, one, pick up a flower. Oh, okay. So different flowers. Yeah. Two, three, okay, so I'll go that way. Techni so technically, she just moved all three spaces. This card is not a move three spaces. It's a move one space three times. So she moves one space, pick up the orange flower. Oh. Move one space, pick up the purple flower. Oh. Oops. Move one space, pick up the sunflower. Okay. Um, you want to make sure that you're clarifying that because if you if you go past a Wayfair station, you don't get to pick it up or any of that. You have to land on it. With that one, she had to land on three different flowers on her first on her first move. So now you're going to keep that over to your side in like a semi-discard pile. Pick up one of these. Spring um, spring has these goals on it. So in order for us to get these points, like I said, if we go above Atlanta, as long as we're on a red space or an orange space above Atlanta, or to the side of Houston on either a blue space or a yellow space, we get those points. And that's at the end of the, the, um, the season. Um, spring lasts four turns. That's one of the reasons why you keep these cards over here, not just a random discard pile, because now we, we know we each took one turn. So let's go ahead and finish up oh. the season. And, oh, okay. um, uh, yep, yeah, so now it's my turn. So mm -hmm. I will play. Um, it also says if you, if you, on your turn, you draw two, you draw a card and you have now two of the same exact card. If you want, you can exchange one of those for a different card. Um, is that your action? Nope, that does not count as your action. Oh, okay. That's at the end of your turn when you draw a new one. Oh, okay. But I'm just going to. I want to refuse your action. So you can't move. Okay. It says any action card. It does. An action card. That's weird. Um, <laughs> I, I just wanted to make sure I got in the video. It does just say refuse an action card that you have played during the current season. So that's weird. Okay, so I guess I don't get to go. Nope. You don't. So now I'm gonna move three. Yep. Nope. It's again one space three times. Oh, one space three times. Yep. Yeah, because there are like so this one. So should I be trying to go to El Paso instead of where you're going? Nope. See how you want to be to the side of Houston. So I'm trying to get over here. So I'm oh. to the side of Houston to get those bonuses. What, what and then about above Atlanta? above Atlanta. So I'm I'm where's Atlanta? Um. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to make it up to here, pretty much, before the end of the season. And you pretty much just, I think, killed me. Well, I can go. I can just go straight for Atlanta, can't I? Yeah, you can go straight for Atlanta. But if you oh, end okay. the season right here, you're not above Atlanta, and you're not in a yellow or a blue space, so you don't get any okay. of the points. Well, we're gonna try. I get to move three. One. Okay. All right, so now you draw two action cards. 
I still need to draw one for my last turn, though, because even though you made me not use my action card, so... Alright. So now see how this card right here is one, two, three, four, five arrows, but yeah. one space. Mm -hmm. This is move sp five spaces. So mm -hmm. it's a one-time thing. I don't get to pick up a flower at each space. I just move uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I pick up a purple... I now have two of the same flower and I'm next to milkweed, so I get to turn these two in and I get to hatch one of my butterflies and they hatch right where you are at. Okay. Well, I'm going to do the same thing you just did. Okay. Put my oh. hand needs to me. I don't know. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So now you pick up um, the pink flower. And now you have... Is this the pink? Yep. Okay. Or purple. I don't know what color you want to call Oh, no, that's not the right one. That that one right there. Oh, okay. That one is pink. Now you have you have two of each of a few of them. Mm -hmm. So you can you can turn two of the, your similar ones in to hatch your butterfly. And, um... This one? I just turn it in? Yep. And I hatch a butterfly. Nope, nope. You take from... So you take from the season... You already have oh. some set on the seasons. So now she's going to play that one, and it hatches right where you're at, on the same space. And now since there's no more butterflies, we actually get to start seeing what um, the next season's going to be, even though we haven't finished spring out yet. So, um... How do you know when you finish spring? Four turns. Oh! Uh, so we've each taken... That was... so our third turn. Okay. Yep, so this will be our last turn. Okay. So now I am to the side of Houston, and I'm above Atlanta, so I have those done. So I think I'm going to start working. So now at the end of the season, all your generation one butterflies die. So um, what I'm going to do now is since I already have my generation one butterfly where I get points for him at, I'm going to start working on summer for my next, my generation two, because he will stay on the board at the end of the season. So, um, oh, again, I, I never drew my card at the end of my turn. Do you have two action cards? Do you need to draw another card at the end of your what turn? What are these numbers next to it? Those are the points you get. Oh, okay. So I'm going to use this one to move um, two butterflies up to two times. So um, I will move my number two guy, one, two, and I pick up a sunflower and uh, one and two, and I'm going to land on Chicago, which means I get to flip this one over. This one is a special token. It allows me to move one butterfly three times and one butterfly two times. Oh, I didn't know you were supposed to actually land on If you land, yeah, I, I said that. If you land on oh. them, you get to flip it. Some of them are just flowers. Some of them get you these bonuses over here, which I'll explain mm. in a bit. I was hoping that we'd flip one over and get it. But this is a card. I can keep this and use this at any time that I want. Um, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about one. I'm um, discussing one thing. With summer... Um, this one has a picture of a chrysalis. That means you want to, you get, uh, and it has an exclamation point on the points. You get two points instantly if you hatch a butterfly in between Houston and Atlanta for that one. Mm. I need to be above Lawrence, which I would already be on any color. So you can move back and forth? Yeah, or? you can move anywhere you want. Oh, I thought you had to, like, I thought you were trying to travel. Oh, no, no, no. You can move in any direction you want on the oh, board. Oh, okay. It's just you, you want to get what these are the points for. Okay. Um, so then I, did I get the point then? Oh, um, no, you, you got, you don't, nobody has any points yet. Oh, The okay. season's not done yet. Oh, okay. So it's your turn. Okay, this is my fourth turn. Yep. I have this with one butterfly with arrow to two spots. Yep, so you get to move up to two butterflies to two different spots. Okay. Do I get the flower then too? Right? Yep. The one which one did you land on? You moved him one space. Yep. But you don't you you have to move two. I know. Okay, listen. You move two, and then you get the flower on the one you landed on. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to land on Atlanta. Okay, so you don't get a flower because you landed on Atlanta. So you flip this over. This is plus one, so you can add that to any move that's like, if it's move one, you can move two on, um, on your next turn. Like, um, so now you and only move two. move two. So you can move him three and turn that one in. 
Um, can I go? Can I go on a space you are? Yep. Any any number okay. of butterflies can occupy the same One, space. Two. So now you get to pick up that whatever that is, the baby's breath or whatever. All right. So that's the end of the season. So spring is over. So now we get to calculate Please. our points. When can I exchange one if I already have it? If you right now, it's oh. at on tur at the third part of that turn. Okay. All right. So spring is over. So now we're going to calculate our points. So um, the first one is above Atlanta. If you're on either red or orange, so um, you're on Atlanta, and this one's above Atlanta, but it's yellow, so you don't get any points for Atlanta. Same with me. Both of mine are above Atlanta, but they're both on yellow, so none of us get points for that. And then to the side of Houston, but it has to be on either blue or yellow. So um, yours is actually... That's what those yep. are. So this one and this one and this space actually don't count for being in, um, from Houston. It has to be, you see how those two lines line up? Mm -hmm. These ones are above it, but they're not, you know, they're too close to this line. So yours just, just catches it. So you get you get six points for that guy. So go ahead and move yours to six. And I have two of them, so I get twelve points. So move me to twelve. And now, um, yep. So then that one. So spring is dead. Spring is done. And that's when we move on to summer. Summer gets five turns each. So now these cards all actually get discarded in a normal discard pile. And if you run out of these cards, you shuffle that. So keep them somewhere where you can reach them. And I'm just going to go ahead and talk about now in case we don't get to it. Um, this right here, these way stations have these um, things. You have the, the egg, the caterpillar, the chrysalis, and the butterfly. And when you collect this Wayfair station, you get, um, you get a matching card, which I didn't pull out. So um, uh, I will just have to... Um, keep remember it if we get to that point, but um, so you get to you get a matching card that goes with it And if you get a set of four you get to grab this card at the end here And this is an extra bonus. So at the end of the game with this one you would get three extra bonus points each it's, player Each play the player that grabs it. So there's only one so if you get all four of these okay. you get this three points Okay. How do we know that like who played those? Again, so so when you flip this over, uh -huh. it's a pink egg. Okay. So you get a you get a pink egg card, but I didn't mm -hmm. pull the cards out. The cards are right here. So you get a pink egg card. Oh, you get a pink egg. Yeah. If you land on it and you okay. flip it, the person who yeah, landed you can get on them it. In that order? No, you can get them in any order okay. and any colors. But once you get a full set of one color, you get to turn them in. And get this but okay. only one person can get that once it's claimed it's gone okay all right so now it's the next season so all the generation of one butterflies also die how do you know which one's a generation so all the butterflies have a little number on oh them. okay yeah. oh i'm glad i grabbed the right one <laughs> um well i told you I had to take it off the card mm. uh so now we get to go again so now this one they say that for the next round, the person with the fewest points is the one that gets to go first in the next season. So since you have less points than me, you get to go first for this season. Okay. I'm going to need to use this and move four. And I only get a flower there. So, yep, you move four and you get a flower, but then you also get to choose an adjacent um, flower. So wherever you land, I'll, I'll let you know what that means when you get to that. Okay. One, two... Three, four. All right. So now you get to pick up a sunflower, and now you can choose any one of these adjacent spots to choose a flower from one of those colors. I'm gonna choose this one. Okay. Now I have two of each one. So right now, um, this one right here is if you have one of each flower at the end of the game, you can get three points. So if you want to like. Poke oh, I don't have any of the pink one. Okay. So yeah, but at the end of the game, if you have one of each flower, at, at the, the end, end of the season, at the end of the season, sorry, end of the end of the oh, season. Okay. So um, yep. So now you draw a card to fill up your thing. Okay. And now it's my turn. And what are they? Above Lawrence. I'm already above Lawrence. I mean any color but blue. And I need to birth something between Houston and Atlanta, which I 
and they're pretty much there. So I'm going to use, and she's already stopping me mm -hmm. from moving. So that means I, I didn't get to use my action card, but I'm still right next to the chrysalis. Oh, but I don't have enough flowers. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my bonus action then and move three, move two. So I'm gonna move three. One, two, three. And so it's a blue egg. So Toronto's a blue egg. Um, I told you you look beautiful. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't he look beautiful, everyone? You probably came up with the idea of dressing them up as a woman after playing a video thing. <laughs> What? After doing a video thing. Oh, okay. So now I'm already one, one ahead. So that was my three, so now I get to move two. <clears throat> so I'm going to move one, two, and I get to pick up a purple flower. And now um, with generation three, in order to birth the generation three, um, because all gen two butterflies breed gen 3 butterflies so i can i have to pay that price which is three any any three of that match or four of any kind so this has been used so that just goes to the side and is discarded and now it's your turn oh i didn't draw a card oh no i've used one that's why mm -hmm. so do i no nope, you put it down anything. and then you draw at the end of your turn so don't use whatever one you just drew Okay, so I'm gonna use this one. Okay, so you get to move one and then three. Or you can move three and then one. But I only have one butterfly. You do, but you can move him two times, but you move, move him once and then three times. So I came next to him, but nothing nothing happened, so. What do you mean? Oh, I have to land on you him. You have to land on Lawrence, so. You have to have that exact number? Yeah, you have to land on him. So you had to move one, move three, right? Or is it move two, move three? Move one. So, so I land yep, on him. Yep, so now you pick that one up. And you flip it over. That's a plus two, so you can mm -hmm. put that with your plus one. So now you can add up to three. Okay. So now you have to move three. This says I should get to Houston now. You want to be in between Houston and Atlanta to give birth in order to get that point. Okay, so now I'm moving three. Yep. One, two, three. So now you pick up a purple, or an orange, I mean. So now you do have all three orange, and you are in between Houston and Atlanta, mm -hmm. but you're not near milkweed. So you need to move near oh, milkweed, okay. and then you can give birth because you have enough of one flower. Oh. All right, so now draw up. Yep. <clears throat> so I'm going to play this uh, draw, full, move four, pick up uh, pick up the flower. Just one, one guy, four, four spaces. So let's go one, two, three, four, and get a sunflower. And then I get an adjacent one. So I'm going to pick up this pink guy right here. And I'm at milkweed. Nope, I won't be in between Atlanta though. So I'm not gonna do that. So that was my turn. And now I draw a card and now it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna do this one and then a three. Yep. So now I'm near that. Yep. So you pick up the, the you pick up well first pick up the, the flower you landed on. So oh, the, the baby's breath. Okay. Well I have two of three now. You can choose whichever pile you want to use. And then I do a three. You take them from the card. Until that, oh. you don't use any from your, your storage until those are all used. And now you get, immediately move up two points, because you did with the, mm -hmm. at the, and, um, yep, that's it. So now, now I get another turn to move three. Yeah, oh well, yeah, I'm sorry, then you get to move three. Jeez, I'm take sorry. my, do I, I don't, I only move one though. I, does it matter which one I move? Yeah, you choose whichever one you want to move. So it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, once you, you, it doesn't matter. Okay. You can choose whichever one you want to move, but you can only move one of them three spaces. 
And now you pick up that file. So I'm going to move um, four spaces and then pick up a matching flower. So one, two, three, four. So then I pick up, um, what did I land on? I landed on baby's breath. And then I'm gonna pick up a sunflower. And then I'm going to give birth. To a butterfly. And a beautiful butterfly. So each season tells you where you have to give birth? No. That's just, each season gives you things that you need to work towards mm. to win points. Okay. Uh, and then, so each, some of them have those on them where oh. it tells you where to give birth at. So now I got the two bonus points. And it's uh, the end of that one. So now it's your turn. Okay, I'm play where I have this one. Oh, I get one three times. Yep. So you can move one once and move one once and then. This will be our last turn of the season. Nope, this one gets five turns. Oh, that's what Matt, that I thought we were starting, but yes, after you go and then I start, and then. No, I go, you go, I go, oh. then you go. We each hey, get two more turns. Continue. Nope. <laughs> so um, I'm going to move five spaces one time. So I'm going to move, I need to be above the warrant. So I'm going to move one, two, three, four, and five and land on this guy. Oh, and draw a card, and it's your turn. Can I be next to Lawrence? You have to be above Lawrence. Oh, okay. You have to be at any of these spots. Okay, I'm still going to do this guy. Okay, so you can move twice. For... One, two. Yep, pick up the pink flower. Oh. And then... One, two. Do this on flower, yep. Drop a card. And now it's my turn, so I'm going to no, I, need, I need orange. Why do some of them have a flower on it and some of them don't? I told you if you have used this one you get to pick up an adjacent flower. So you get that flower plus oh, one. Oh yeah, okay. Two. Thanks. Baby's breath. I need orange. One, two, I need to use at least three to get up. Then I also need. I need that flower. And I don't need any other ones surrounding that flower. So that's not going to really help me, anyways. So I might as well go for the above one. So I'm going to move um, five one time. So one, two, three, four, five. This flower, and it's your turn. Well, wasn't that the end of our season? Oh, did, oh, yeah, that's right. You started that season, so mm -hmm. I would have ended that season. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so that's the end of the season. So mm -hmm. now we count up points. So we already got the two bonus because that was exact. Do you want to turn in one of each flower to get three points? Mm -hmm. All right, so take one of each flower. Two, three. And I have one above Lawrence. So, so you I get, get six. six. One, two, four, five, six. I have two above Lawrence. Mm -hmm, so I get twelve. One, two, three, four, <gasps> I five, six, seven, this. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I, I don't know why you didn't use them. I forgot. <laughs> Can I use it now? No. You have to use it at your ladies' night. Fine, use it. I'm a <laughs> I'm a lady too. <laughs> try to be a lady. So now I get six more points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woohoo! Did I turn this in somewhere? You, yeah, I'll just put it in this pile over okay. here that I have going. Um, 
All right. Um, so, like I said, that was the end of summer. So now summer's over. So now all um, Generation 2 uh, butterflies die. Sorry, guys. You're dead now. Aww. And uh, we start the next round with our, our Gen 3. Now you're birthing um, Generation 4. So um, Generation 4, um, give me one second. I'm going to look up because there's... These have three on them. What? These yeah. Have... Well, you start with Gen 3, Gen, but Gen 3 mm -hmm. birth, Gen 4. So oh. anything we birth in this generation will be Gen 4. Um, so since we both birthed, um, birthed ones, these don't get to move. Um, they just go into our pile and we flip over fall because we didn't use all of them. And then I know there's also something with um, when you, when you um, hatch a Gen... Generation four butterflies can flip over and become double Did double you butterflies. You, I think you're supposed to get points if you hatch. I don't know. It didn't say anything about that. It says like hatch one, two, or move, and then one. So I don't know what it means. You didn't read that in the directions. I didn't see that in the directions. Well, somewhere there in the directions, obviously you didn't read them all. Maybe you all will have to read them yourself and just take advice from this video because it seems like a pretty complex yeah directional i i don't theory. even i don't even i can't even find in here anymore i know i read it in here about how you hatch um the oh, double butterfly there's a picture of the yep there she is right there yep um does it say on the back Generational four butterflies. It just says that you can, but there's something that said about how you have to be above a certain area in order to hatch a double butterfly. Um, well, maybe you need to email the person who created the game. I just, I just, I'm gonna cut this out of both, even the long long one. I'm going to, I'm going to take a second to read real quick and see if I can't find it again. Every Gen 4 butterfly you have, you get an extra two points. So remember that at the end when we're counting up points. Oh, okay. I found it. Um, when you have a Gen 4 butterfly, you can, um, hatch, flip it over into a double butterfly just by using the cost. So if you have a Gen 4 butterfly, um, you can just pay the another four, um, four one flower or any five flowers to flip it and it becomes a double butterfly. What do we use the dice for? I told you what we use the dice for. When you, mm. when you land on one of these, um, you're supposed to uh, roll it and I haven't been rolling oh. it. Oh, um, well, why didn't you roll it? Because I for completely forgot about that. Oh. Uh, because I thought, I thought there were some that were just flowers, but I think it's every time you land on one. So I was supposed to roll it, too. Yeah, we both landed on a couple of them. Oh, jeez. So why don't we just do that? We each rolled up, landed on two, right? I had, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so I'll roll it twice, so I get a sunflower and a sunflower. And now you roll it twice. What's that? A flower any of my choice? Yep, any flower you want. Well, now I have two of each one. Okay, again. All right, so we're going into fall. Wow. Fall, we want to be to the side of Atlanta. Um, we only get one point for that, though. Um, and it, But Atlanta's down here, and it can be any color, so you have to be anywhere. But you can be all that birth. If you hatch it above Atlanta, you get three points. Okay. So, um... And to still hatch, you have to have... One of each flower. Hatch, hatching now, you need to have four of any of the same flower. Oh, okay. Or five of any any flower. So, um, okay. whoever has the least amount of points goes again. First, you know, give me all your, your cards from the last hand. Put them in the discard pile. And now, um, so yeah, so you get to go first again because you, you have the least amount of points. 
this one. Okay, move four spaces, so pick up the flower, flower, and then you get to pick up any flower adjacent to that. Yep, you have so to have, have four of one color flower or five of any color flower. Oh, five of each one? Well, one, five of any flower or like five of anything. So you could have three and two, but you have to have five of any flower or four of the so same So I flower. have five. Yeah, use one of each. Yeah. You don't have, it doesn't have to be one of each though. You could have like two of orange yeah. and three sunflowers or something. I use one of Oh, we'll oh, pick oh. it up later. Now four. Yep, and the heat patches are right next to you. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to use this one to move. Um, what kind of game this is? My I one think guy. I like it more even the more we play it. Yeah, I thought it's it's difficult, but I think it's fun. I think once you get the hang of it, it'll, mm -hmm. it says up to about 45 minute play time on the box. Obviously, that's if you know how you how to play. Like when you're for, learning it for the first time, it's going to take more than 45 minutes to play. Because I think we're at a lot longer than 45 minutes right now. I mean, we might not be. Who knows? Um, so I'm going to move um, two times. So I'm going to move him one, two, land on Minneapolis. I flip that over. It gives me a pink butterfly. And I get to roll this to sunflower. And then I'm going to move again two more spaces. One, two, flip over Winnipeg. What it's a blue caterpillar. And then um, I get to roll the die. And it's this guy. And um, yep, that's the end of my turn. Okay, I'm gonna move one butterfly five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five on Quebec City. Yep, so flip it over. So you get to take any flower you want. That one that that stays there. No, it stay it stays up there. You get to pick any flower you want. Oh. And then anyone that lands on there gets any flower they want. Oh, okay. I will take this one. And then you get to roll the die and pick up another flower. I knew I was going to roll that. No. That's why I didn't pick it up. Oh, I keep forgetting to draw. So many card games are different. You draw at the beginning of your turn, you draw at the end of your turn, you draw in the middle of your turn. Let's make it a law. It has to be the beginning of turn. All right, so let's see. Or end of turn, one of the ones. I'm going to use this guy that... What are you doing to me? <laughs> I refuse you turns. Fine. Draw another card, and now it's your turn. Oh, okay. So do I you draw at the card? end of your turn. Okay, so, you only... so I have to play this. Yep. Turn. So I get to move one butterfly three times. Oh, I get to move three and then three it's butterflies at one time. Yep. Let me move here. Oh, didn't mean to take that with me. <laughs> can I hatch another butterfly? You can if you have enough things. I do. Not okay. I love butterflies. <laughs> Right here next to me, right? Yep. And then I get to move another one. Cat, is there a limit to how many butterflies you can hatch? I think you can only hatch one per turn. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to move. I think he was there. Yep. And I need to move one, one more. Time. I'll move that, and I'll hatch another butterfly. What? I just You're remembered where I needed to be um, oh. for uh, my points. I guess it's only one point, so but I need that. And I am above it. Oh, babe, mm. you've hatched two times now, right? And you were above yeah. Atlanta each time, so yes. you need to move your guy six points. Oh, six? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because you got three for each one you hatched. Yay! I get to 
Do these. Wait, how'd you get a fourth butterfly? Because I just hatched two. Another one? Well, I thought that was still the same turn. I think you're not supposed to hatch one per turn. But that's okay. So oh. so you get to go another three points. I guess I, I, guess I thought... Because you use the one action, move one butterfly uh -huh. three times. And so that was one action, oh. one round, one turn. But I don't know for sure. I'll read that in the directions after yeah, we're done. Yeah, because then when we post it, you can tell them if yeah. you're supposed to do that or not. Okay, your turn. All right, so I'm going to... What are you going to do? Nothing, because you're not going to let me do anything. <laughs> oh, it's your turn. All my, butter my butterflies are going to die. I'm dead. One, each one, one. I don't know why I shouldn't move that one. Okay. It's your turn. Okay. You gonna stop me again? Mm -hmm. So move uh, three and then one. So one, two, three, and then I pick up this one, and then one, and that one is two of these ones. Your turn. Mm -hmm. Why do you draw a card? I'm gonna play this. Okay. And then I'm going to land on New York. And I get a butterfly card. Maybe I get a butterfly card. I get a butterfly okay, card. Okay, well what color? Green. Thank you. I'm still I'm still trying. It doesn't say anything specific. It says if you like when you land, if you're next to milkweed, you can hatch. So I think it's if you go one and you landed, that counts as landing. So then you go one and you landed next to it again, you Do need to hatch. Do I take this off? No, that stays there because everyone that oh. land, goes there gets that card. Oh, okay. It's just that we didn't know what it was. Now we all know which one it is. And then I get to move one each one. Also, if I move here, I can get a flower of my choice, right? Yep. What am I missing this one? One more, and I can hatch another one. Yep. Yeah. Which one is that that you're um, breeding? The number four. So you're gonna, he's gonna flip over into a double butterfly. Oh. You still get the points though for hatching a butterfly. Three. Yep. Okay. Okay. So I guess I will move my guy uh, three and then one. Do you feel like this is similar to get to ride? One, two, three, and I get a purple, and then one, and I get a sunflower, and then I get to hatch. One, two, three, four. So I get to hatch Gen 4 butterfly, and then I get one, two, three points. And yeah, I was actually going to tell you I think it's similar to Ticket to Ride, but then I was like, I think it's too different. She might disagree with me. Hmm. One point deck, one in this, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So my turn. Yep, this, uh, this I got... This is our sixth five, turn. Five, so this is your final turn. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. I get, what you call it, a crystal? A chrysalis? What color? Yes, a green one. Is it, is it the egg or the, the chrysalis, the cocoon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the other word. I'm like... I never heard it called a chrysalis. I know it's called something else, but I don't know what it's called. Or the, what's the, the name egg, of it? the caterpie, the, the metapod, cocoon. and the butterfree. That's right, yes. 
I'm like, you... I know there's another word for All that. Alright, so now it's my turn, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use this guy to move one time, three times. So I'm going to move um, this guy one time. Wait, you moved my guy. Oh, I meant to move my guy. Where were you? Where, where, where are my, my guys are both here. Oh, uh, which well, one were you I moving? I was here. So I was, I had five to move, so. You can use that, just go, go, go there. So you can I get there get in there. four. Yeah. So, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna sorry. go. sorry. I'm gonna move one. And then See, I'm, I told you those look like they're yellow, because I would be yellow. Not, I mean, pink's yeah. my second favorite What did color. I land on? I so landed on favorite. this one. So I get to turn in four of these and breed. So I breed this guy, and then I get one, two, three. Then I'm going to move one, and I pick up this flower, and I'm going to breed. So I'm going to breed, and I get to move one, two, three, and that had to turn in five, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm going to move my final move. Where is it? I went the wrong way. I don't remember where I'm at now. Well, anyways, I pick up this flower, and then I get to breathe again. One, two, three, four, and five. And my last gen four. And one, two, three. And that was the final turn. Oh, okay. So now we collect um, our final points. So we each get one point for everyone we have to the side of Atlanta, which is every butterfly we have out. So I get one, two, three, four, five final points. What about my double one? He counts as two. Okay, so three, five. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I beat you by the hair of my chin. Three points. Man, yes. <laughs> what a bummer. So it's... it's Ladies it's, night. Yeah. I got 44. I won. I'm a lady. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a fun game. Um, it's like I said, like one the more you, the more you play it, the more you're gonna figure out how to play it. The faster it's gonna go, um, and uh, it's just gonna it's it's gonna be a lot quicker every time you play it. Um, it's just really fun, and it's very very fancy. Like it's high quality. Like that's I was amazed. When I'm pulling this out, and all the the quality of everything, all the cards and everything, and even these little cardboard tokens, like, mm -hmm. are just very high quality. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Very nice so, game. um, as always, thanks for coming. If you have any suggestions for games you'd like to see us play, leave it down in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for drinks you'd like to see us drink, again, leave it in the comments for us. Um, please remember to like and share and always subscribe to our channel please um share it with all your friends and family anyone that you think might enjoy playing games or having drinks and uh thanks for coming I don't have... just fake it then i thought you'd give me some you don't like this kind i don't care <laughs> yeah cheers